standard deviation is a measure of variability or spread that's in the same units as the original data. So whereas the variance is not in the same units as the original data, the standard deviation is in the same units as the original data. Now remember, the formulas for the variance are sigma squared equals sum of x minus mu squared over n for the population variance, and s squared is equal to the sum of x minus x bar squared over n minus 1 for the sample variance. Now x minus the mean is called the deviations about the mean. And when calculating the variance, we square these deviations about the mean. So what we get for the variance is a quantity that's not in the units of the data, but is in the units of the data squared. So for example, if our data is in inches, the variance is going to be in squared inches. If the data is in pounds, the variance is going to be in squared pounds. So the variance isn't in the same units as the original data, but the standard deviation is. So we have two different standard deviations depending on whether we're working with a population or sample of data. The population standard deviation is written as sigma, and it's simply equal to the square root of the population variance. So this is why the standard deviation is in the same units as the data. It's because the variance is in the squared units of the data, and the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So the standard deviation brings the units of the data back to the original units. The sample standard deviation is written S, and it's equal to the square root of the sample variance. Now let's look at an example Suppose we have a sample with values 10, 20, 12, 17, and 16. So since this is a sample of data, we want to calculate the sample standard deviation. But before we can get the sample standard deviation, we first need the sample variance. So to calculate the sample variance, we want to create a table. In the first column of the table, we're going to have the values 10, 20, 12, 17, and 16. Now the mean of these values is equal to 15. In the second column, we're going to have the deviations about the mean x minus x bar. 10 minus 15 is negative 5. 20 minus 15 is 5. 12 minus 15 is negative 3. 17 minus 15 is 2. And 16 minus 15 is 1. Now the sum of the deviations about the mean is always going to be equal to 0. So the sum of this column is 0. Our last column is going to be the squared deviations about the mean. Negative 5 squared is 25. 
5 squared is 25, negative 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, and 1 squared is 1. Now we want to sum this column and we get 64. So our sample variance is going to be equal to 64 divided by 5 minus 1, which is going to be equal to 16. Now our sample standard deviation is just going to be the square root of this. So s is equal to the square root of 16, which is equal to 4. So our sample standard deviation is equal to 4. Now our result here is going to be in the same units as the data. So for example, if this data was in inches, we could say that the sample standard deviation is 4 inches, but we wouldn't be able to say that about the sample variance. We couldn't say that the sample variance is 16 inches. It would be 16 inches squared. 